this lesson is on how to find a fraction between two fractions. Just remember these three steps. Number one, make sure you have a common denominator. Step two, when you have a common denominator, make sure you have equivalent fractions. Step three, when you have those done, just make sure you keep the denominator and then you have to choose a number between the two new numerators you found. Let's see how this works. Let's find a fraction between 2 ninths and 7 ninths. Step 1, find a common denominator. I'm looking at my denominator, 9, 9. That's the same, so I can skip that step. I already have fractions that work, so I can skip step number 2. Step number three says, keep the denominator. Well, I have two nines, so I'm gonna keep the nine. Now I have to choose a number in between my numerators. I need to choose a number between two and seven. I'm gonna choose the number five. My fraction in between is five ninths. Let's find a fraction between one fourth and two fifths. Step one, we need to find a common denominator. I'm just going to take four times five, and that's 20. That will give me a common denominator. And I'm going to write that on both sides. Now I need to think, five times what is 20? Five times four. So I'm going to also take two times four and get eight. On the other side, four times five is 20? So I'm going to take 1 times 5, and I get 5. I just made equivalent fractions. Step number 3, keep the denominator. Since I made the denominator a 20, we're going to keep the 20. Now I get to choose a number between my new numerators. Choose a number between 5 and 8. I'm going to choose the number 6. My answer in the middle is 6 twentieths. Let's find a fraction between 2 sixths and 5 ninths. First, we're going to make a common denominator. So I'm going to take 6 times 9, which is 54. And I'm going to write that next to both fractions. Now I need to think to myself, 9 times what is 54? 9 times 6. I'm going to take 5 times 6, and that's 30. On the other side, 6 times 9 is 54, so I'm going to do that again. 9 times 2 is 18. I just made equivalent fractions. Step number 3, keep the denominator. I'm going to keep the 54, and I'm going to write that down. Now I get to choose a number between my two new numerators. So I'm going to choose a number between 18 and 30. I'm going to choose 23. My fraction in between is 23 fifty-fourths. Now here's one of the trickiest ones you can get. I need to find a fraction between 3 fourths and 4 fifths. So I'm going to find a common denominator. 4 times 5 is 20. So I'm going to use 20 as my common denominator. Now, four or 5 times 4 is 20, so I'm going to take 4 times 4, and I get 16. On the other side, 4 times 5 is 20, so 3 times 5 is 15. I just made equivalent fractions. Now I get to do step number 3, keep the denominator, and I'm going to use that 20. So I'm going to write down 20. Now I have to choose a number between my numerators. I need to choose a number between 15 and 16. Uh-oh. There isn't any whole numbers between 15 and 16, so that's not going to work. That's what makes this, it makes this question a challenge. We cannot use the fractions 15 20 and 16 20 to get our answer. However, we're going to use them to come up with another set of equivalent fractions. Now let's take 16 20 and double everything. 
20 times 2 is 40. 16 times 2 is 32. It's the same fraction, it's the same amount as 4 fifths, it's the same amount as 16 twentieths. I just use different numbers. Let's do the same thing on the left side. We're going to double everything. 20 times 2 is 40, and 15 times 2 is 30. Now let's try step number 3 again. Keep the denominator. Well, now we have a 40 as our denominator, so let's try 40. And now we're going to choose a number between our two new numerators. Choose a number between 30 and 32. Now we have one. 31 is in between. So my fraction in the middle is 31 fortieths. Now I want you to find a fraction between 2 thirds and 7 eighths. I'm going to do a common denominator of 24. 8 times 3 is 24. 7 times 3 is 21. On the other side, 3 times 8 is 24. 8 times 2 is 16. I made equivalent fractions. Now I'm going to do step 3. Keep the denominator. I'm going to keep the 24. I need to choose a number in between my two new numerators. So a number between 16 and 21. I have lots of choices. I could choose 17, 18, 19, or 20. I feel like choosing 17. That is my answer. Now I want you to give me a fraction in between 1 third and 5 sevenths. I'm going to find a common denominator. 3 times 7 is 21. So I'm going to use 21 for my common denominator. Now I'm thinking 7 times 3 is 21. So 5 times 3 is 15. On the left side, 3 times 7 is 21. And 1 times 7 is 7. I have my equivalent fractions. Now I'm going to do step number 3. I'm going to keep my denominator. Looks like I'm using 21, so I'm going to keep 21. I need to choose a number in between my new numerators. I need a number between 7 and 15. I could choose 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, or 14. I'm going to choose 13. That is my fraction in the middle. Finally, a tough one. I want you to give me a fraction in the middle of one half and two thirds. I'm going to find a common denominator. Two times three is six, so I'm going to use six as my common denominator. Three times two is six. I'm going to take two times two and I get four. On the other side, 2 times 3 is 6, so I'm going to take 1 times 3, and I get 3. I made equivalent fractions. Step number 3 says keep the denominator, so I'm looking. I'm going to keep the 6. Now choose a number in between your two new numerators. I need a number between 3 and 4. Uh-oh. There isn't a number between 3 and 4, so this isn't going to work. Remember, I can do different equivalent fractions, so I'm going to take the fraction 4, 6, and just double everything. 6 times 2 is 12. 4 times 2 is 8. On the other side, 3, 6, I'm going to double everything. 6 times 2 is 12. 3 times 2 is 6. I'm going to try step three again. Keep the denominator. It looks like now we're using 12 as the denominator, so I'm going to keep that. Now choose a number between my two new numerators. A number between 6 and 8. Hey, this works. 7 twelfths is my fraction in the middle.